welcome, welcome, and welcome. Oh, Pando. Oh, what happened? Oh, no, Yugi. I'm going to fix you up right away. No, Yugi's gone. Yep, yeah, Yugi's back. <laughs> Welcome, welcome, and welcome everybody back to another Zelda stream. And for today, I just thought that it would be really, really nice if we can go straight into Frambo and get this thing going because I think we have another two chapters. I think we do. Yes, sir. I really, really think so. Um, and one particular, I don't know how we end up, but since I am streaming a little bit late, I will try to speed things up as fast as I can. Imagine the autosave was like there. Okay, the load. All right, cool. As a recap, I think, as a recap, I think, by if I'm not mistaken, that what happened was we got into the whole um, accident and the ship went down. However, Mr. Midnight is still with us, but the skeleton isn't which i feel so so bad so we'll just be collecting some stuff as we go and going on to our chapter so there we go uh red bicycle is this itward's bicycle i don't think it's itward's itward doesn't usually should use a bicycle like that i think all right cool um so let me see i think i've got everything sorted out everything looks good mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all right cool so what do i have i still have itward's stuff itward's gift i can't really open it though it needs a keyhole, and I don't have that. Uh, this one is also the same. I can't open it. But maybe it can't be opened at all. Maybe it's a symbol of some kind. Maybe if I show it to someone, um, they'll show me. Oh! Oh! Wait, we're, we're close to the town. We're close to the city. So that means we're close to... Are we uh, near home? Oh my god, we finally reached the streets. Wait, this is our street. Let's go! Wait! Okay. Oh, we're finally home. Oh, that's so well. Awesome. Just a little bit more and then we're finally it. And here we are. This looks much more grey than I remember it. I hope Aunt Grace will be happy to see me. Wait, this is our house? We finally got here? Oh my god, that's so nice. Time to knock on the door. Maybe she's not at home. Dear, do you have the key to get inside? Um, no, I don't have it, Kitty. But I know there's a hidden key somewhere. I just need to remember where. All right, um, <clears throat> would you like some more adventure? Not really, no, why do you ask? I thought maybe you'd like to climb this plant holder. Oh, no, I'm too tired. I'll make your favorite meal. You can't get me to do things for food. <laughs> I'll climb if we don't find the key. All right, all right, fine. Um, oh, oh, ew. Okay, I mean, that's usually where it should be. Oh, more bugs. I'm so sorry, little thing sex. Oh. A uh, note? It says I took... Eh? Wait, wait, hold on. I haven't taken the key and I didn't write that note. I took the key slash friend. Wait, what? Huh? Wait, I'm so confused. What do you mean, what? Can I talk to him? I couldn't find the key. It seems I already took it. You already took the key, but you don't have it. That sounds very strange. I know! How does that work? I only found a note that I don't remember writing. But now in order to get inside, you must climb up and open the door for me. Alright. Come on, kitty! Come on, Mr. Midnight! You got this! You got this! Let's go! I think we're gonna be playing as Mr. Midnight for now. Oh, that's a window to my room. Do you hear me? Can you open the door? Wait! It's a doctor! Are you kidding me? Why?! Why out of all places would you pop up here? Get away from me! I won't go back to the asylum! I've been looking for you for- mm, I've been looking for you for a long time! How did you escape? That is none of- that is none of your business. Leave now, please. Hmm, but why are you outside the house? Well, I, I, I don't have a key, but Mr. Midnight is inside now, and he climbed through the second floor window, sir. Mr. Midnight? Isn't that your missing cat? Uh, yeah. But we found each other in the end. So may I ask why are you here and why did you suddenly decide that you want to pop up here? I came to meet Miss Grace. I have something very important to tell her. I think she's not at home, sir. Well, it may be better this way. You'll have to come with me then. No! Absolutely not! I won't leave my kitty again and let's wait until he opens the door. Fran, I don't believe your cat is in the house. That's impossible. I'm telling you the truth. He's inside. He'll open the door in a minute. 
Stop it, Fran. Face reality. Your cat is dead. You must come with me now. No, 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 no. Don't take me, don't take me, don't take me. Oh, for God's sake. Come on, Mr. Midnight. Wait, why is he open yet? Oh, hi, Grim. Oh, fuck off, you doctor ass twat. Sheesh, could you at least give me this? I hate you so much. I'm sorry, Fran. I don't want to hurt you or scare you. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Fran. I don't want to hurt you or scare you. I'm just worried about Mr. Midnight, sir. You made me leave him. Is he really alive? Of course he is, sir. Why would I lie about that? This feels so wrong. You know, Fran, I was fired from the asylum because I knew too much. I found things that I don't understand yet. I really thought you were dead. Look at these documents. Family murder on Hayes Street. The bodies were perfectly sliced. Martin and Lucia Bow, Dagenhart, were found early this week brutally murdered in their residence on Hayes Street. The investigating police officer Marco Hulma said, It seems that the bodies were perfectly sliced, which would cause a quick instantaneous death. Also, there were no signs of a struggle in the house, so the victims must have been caught completely by surprise and were unable to fight back. The police interrogated Grace Dagenhart, Lucia, uh, Lucia's twin sister, but the police didn't find any useful information. The youngest in the family, Fran Bo, was found in the woods one day after her parents' murder. murder. She froze to death. And with a note that came, Dear Gladys, let the newspaper know about Fran Bo. She was found in the woods, frozen to death. She ran away from home after finding out about her parents' murder. Fran is now free from all pain. We hope you reunite with your family in heaven. I'm not dead and I'm not free from all pain. Who told her to lie about me? I'm not dead. Wait, why is there... Oh, mommy, I recognize your hand. I wish I could be there for you. The symbol, I remember it, it was written in blood. Oh, mommy and daddy, I'm so sorry for what happened. But I'm not dead, sir. This is all lies. I, mm, I see that. I see that. I also found that your medicine was switched. You were given a new variant of duty. When I looked at it in the library, the levels of ectoplomatine were too high. That can't be too good. Ectoplomatine creates a door between the conscious and subconscious mind. The problem is, if the ectoplomatine is too high, the door, the door will open too wide. And that can create great confusion in your brain. A great confusion in my brain? I mean, yeah, I'm a bit confused. But that's because of all the new things that I can see and feel. What do you mean, Fran? I can see the ultra-reality, sir. But also travel to other worlds. Ultra-reality? That must be an effect of the duality, nothing more. That's not true. If I had some more medicine, I could show you. You don't need that medicine anymore. Besides, it's all in your head, Fran. All in my head. If Wait, if it's all in my head, you say, then I may be able to control it. I mean that you're imagining things, that's all. <laughs> I tried to tell my mother the truth, but father would harm her as well. I don't want my father playing with his knife again. Oh, my arms hurt. Oh, your father hurt you with his knife, doctor. What? what? Who told you that? Um, you did, or didn't you, sir? I haven't said anything about it. Oh my goodness, and it's true. Oh, please, let's focus. But you're not listening to me, sir. We need to find the truth. I wonder who's behind all this. The nurses, Oswald. Who knows? I do, sir. It's a big black, la la la, big black, la la, ah, big black monster, Ramor. He took my parents, and now he's hunting me. He wants me dead. I wish I stayed in the Thursda with Palontras and the Great Wizard. W what are you talking about, please, Bran? I'm serious. I never said goodbye to Itward or Palontras, and my kitty is all alone. Palontras. Itward, please, Fran. Palantras is a doctor of Ithersta. He's a flying creature, very fluffy, sir. And Itward is my faithful friend. He brought me home with his machine. It seems you've been living inside a fairy tale. It wasn't good all the time, sir. The twins are gone because of me. 
I saw myself killing Mr. Midnight and I saw mother and father too. The twins? What twins? The girls who are attached to each other. Attached, you say? That reminds me of the Clara and Mia case. Two girls in the asylum who claim to see a creature named Edward or something. Edward? I think you're misunderstanding, sir. It's Itward. But what happened to those girls? Dr. Oswald were experimenting on them. He sued them together. Mostly to see the reactions of the DNA, but nothing happened. A few months later, they died, and the bodies were thrown into a well. Wait. Wait. No, it was the well that we found. That's awful, sir. You can't take me back to the asylum. Don't worry. I won't. I brought you with me so you can help me. Maybe you can find something that will lead us to those responsible for this disgrace. Oh, okay. The doctor is... The doctor is nice. The doctor is really nice. You're, you're not a bad doctor. You're just an old man following the rules. Well, not tonight. Oh, that's so... That's good. Here we are. But... But this is the cemetery, sir. Cemetery, sir. What are we doing here? You will see. Come on. Follow me. Coming! I'm on my way. This is your parents' resting place. And also yours. Why... Why did you bring me here, sir? I'm sorry, friend, but things are how they are. Your parents were killed. Knowing who killed them can help us make things right. I know they were killed! You don't need to remind me! I don't want to offend you, friend. If we find the guilty ones, we can protect you. I understand, sir. And what did you need my help? To find clues and evidence. We need to open the coffins. Alright, sir. I'll help. Maybe the, maybe the deadly worms came already. Who? <laughs> anyway, we have to find shovels today. I'll go left and you go right. I'll see you right here in a few minutes, alright? Alright, Dr. All right, Dr. Dan. I'll see you soon. He's a nice doctor. He is. You didn't contribute already, had you? No, okay. <laughs> Alright. So I need to find myself some shovels. Shovels. Is it inside this room? This must be the shovel storage room. Just my luck. So I can't open it. So if I can't open, there's gotta be some... Oh, what about down there? Oh no, okay. Wait, do I have something? Can I use the knife? Ah, I could have used a knife. Hold on. I have a carrot. I have Mr. Midnight Doll. I saw the I saw the good uh, angels and the bad. Uh, I saw the good spirits and the bad spirits like following me just now. So I don't know about that. Martin Bow, Lucia Bow Dagenhart, and Fran Bow Dagen. Why was it that they took the mother's name but not the dad's name? Huh. You think you think uh, there was something something inside the car? Ooh, I'm smart. I'm smart. Yeah, yeah, me smart. Okay, cool. Okay, so I got the crowbar, which I can probably use. I feel like there's something I can do with the drain, though. Crowbar, it is. There you go. Open wide. Clunk, clunk. Shh. <gasps> Wait. Look. Shh. Damn, Fabio. Uh, but I'm I'm not Fabio. I'm I'm friend. Hello, little pinecone. What? Oh my goodness! A giant. But, but, but don't be scared, please. Don't be scared. I won't I won't harm you. No, oh, I thought no giants could see us. I kind of have big eyes. I think I can see you with that. Oh, I see. I'm Sebastian, by the way, the tribes collector. The tribes collector. That sounds exciting. Right now we're trying to find some shiny leather. We need it for the mating ritual. Um, <laughs> you need it. That's quite interesting. Shiny leather though? Yes, last year we used old human skin. But the deadly worms wanted it back. Which ones are the deadly worms again? I can't remember. So we're looking for something more synthetic. Well, uh, well, I hope you can find that leather. Um, Sebastian, would you do me a favor? Depends on the paper, giant. I was thinking you could open the door for me from inside. Hmm, I could do that. Or oh, we could help each other instead. Bring me a piece of leather and I'll open the door. Alright, giant miss? 
But where will I fi ever find that? Hmm, fine. I'll see what I can do. Giant leather, giant leather. Um, the bear doesn't count as giant leather though. I don't think the bear counts as giant leather. Anything on here? Anything on here? Um, giant leather, giant leather, giant leather. Wait, maybe I can cut up the tire. That's leather, isn't it? Oh no, okay. I'm not Jesh Martin anymore. Wait, what about the seat? The seat looks leathery. Let's go! I'm smart. I'm smart. Okay, cool. I got you your piece of leather. Here you are. See, I was right with the, I was right with the voices. The voices actually were. Right. Wow. You giant miss. Our tribe, the pine zealous, will be happy. And now I'll open the door. Just a second. Just a second. <laughs> ah! Oh, ouch! Are, are you alright, Sebastian? Sebastian? Uh, I'm alright, miss. Yes. Good. Well, thank you. You opened the door. You're welcome, giant miss. Hey, Fabio! Hey, why is he running? Oh, I have to go, miss. Good night. Hey, Fabio! Wait for me! I have the leather. Wait, are he, is he... I, I, <laughs> is... Did he lock him in... Did he leave him on purpose because he doesn't want to mate? Wait, there's nothing here? What the fuck? No shovels? Oh man. There you are, Frank. Look, I found a pair of shovels. Let's dig. Let's dig. Alright, well, if that's the only thing I need to do. Although, desecrating my own parents' coffins are not really what I needed right now. They're stuck. I had a crowbar in my car, just in case, but I couldn't find it. Oh, I took the crowbar, sir. I needed to open the door. Do you want it back? No need, Fran. But you can do the honors of opening the coffins. Alright, sir. I'll open them. Got it! Plonk, open! Open! <coughs> hey, why? Why not? Is it on the coffins, or like... Oh, okay. Fair enough. Oh, Dad! Mom! Huh? Wait, but... Yeah, Mr. Midnight's at home. Wait, what? It's a black furred cat. You can see it by the edges, but... Mr. Midnight is at home. Did you see anything that could bring us closer to the killer? No, sir. I just feel really bad doing this, seeing my parents like that. I know! Griff! Ah! Saya! Yes! Star has contributed 22,000 in total! Grim has contributed 4,133! Yes, it is rigged. Like I said, Twitch only allows it uh, maximum 2,000. I even searched it up, went to a few uh, things to look it up and how to how to increase it even more, but I couldn't find it. But we have raised a total of 69,106. Oh my god, that's an amazing number right there. Hold on, I gotta take a picture of that. Oh no 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 no! No contributions! No 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 contributions! No contributions! I want I want to take a picture. That's an awesome ass number. That's an amazing number. Hold on, hold on. I want I want to post it. I want to post it. That that shit is awesome. Okay, nothing to do. Okay. There you go. There you go. There you go. Give me a second. Give me a second. The number is too good. <laughs> I love you too, Sayang. But what if it's in my eight outfit? <laughs> we have contributed a total of 69,169. That's amazing. Look at that. <laughs> what about this? I'll also even show uh, as much as everyone says excited. I will show some sneak peeks by next week. By next week. Sorry. It's a little bit laggy. Oh, God. There you go. By next week. I'll make sure to show some sneak peeks on the maid outfit then. Maybe you'll get everyone excited to contribute some more. <laughs> oh, but don't worry, it won't be something clear. <laughs> I 
And also, that that cat isn't that my cat. It can't be, sir. I did find my kitty. You have to believe me. Take me home and I'll show you, please. All right, friend. I'll take you back home. I'll take care of this later. I still need to find some clues. Thank you, sir. Let's go. Please tell me he doesn't die. This duck. Oh, no! <laughs> oh fucking hell, more! Vanished into the hands of darkness. <clears throat> just, just in the nick of time, the actual, the actual Satan comes. How, how convenient, Tanya? How convenient? Don't you think so? Your worst nightmare has arrived. Fuck you. <laughs> just in the nick of time, actually, Satan came. Wow, wow, Sina. You really have a, you really have a knack for this. Imang Satan pagi Satan lain <laughs> Vanish into the hands of darkness. You have no manners! I'm not afraid of you anymore! I've taken away from you the light. The one you love. The one you respect. And the one you desire to love. <laughs> no! No! Oh, come on. Really? You broken little girl. I need a darker voice than that. The House of Madness invites you inside. If you want to find those you love, in darkness you must wake up. Wake up now. Friend, wake up. Don't tell me I've already re reached chapter 5. <clears throat> I did! <laughs> Wait, okay, chapter 4 was really, really quick then. My god. Wait, what happened? Oh, Aunt Grace. Aunt Grace, is that you? My darling, you finally woke up. You're at home, my dear. Am I? Am I really? That's incredible. I'm so happy to see you. Please give me a hug. Soon, my darling. Where is Mr. Midnight? Your cat? Well, you know he ran away after what he did. He ran away, but what did he do? Well, your cat killed my sister and your father. He's a traitor. That's not true. It can't be true. He didn't do it. Uh, a zealous v, uh, a zealous v a era. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't know. I thought I only thought that voice acting would be cool. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. In the end, we must have someone to blame, right? But you can't blame Mr. Midnight. He's my best friend. But it's easier to blame somebody else than taking responsibility, isn't it? I'll always take responsibility for my actions, even if they're not so good. What a good girl. What a good girl you are. Now rest now, my darling. You need it. Why is Fan in chains? Like literal chains! Have you seen that? Her arms and her legs are in chains. And the worst part about it, do you see how skinny those arms are? I'm worried because having chained up with, if you're chained up and you have skinny arms and legs like that, you will cause a really, really severe accident. But Aunt Grace, don't leave me! Why am I chained to the bed? Because your hands do bad things when they're untied. What are you talking about? Uncuff me now! I have to go find Mr. Midnight. Little, little shining friend. Don't you worry about the lies. The seeker of the truth will always die. Because the evil will never. Little, little shining friend. Go to bed at sleep time. And forget the pain inside your mind. You were selected to suffer, to cry, but the darkness wants to free you from all this grace. Sleep tight. Is she the one that... Wait, the door disappeared. <clears throat> Wait, do you think that Aunt Grace is... That doesn't... That seems out of character for Aunt Grace, like literally out of character. And the fact that she wanted to give me something, that was one. 
I feel like she's either possessed. I feel like she's either possessed or straight up the whole uh, a really damn good psychopath. And she was the one that killed uh, mom and dad. But at the same time, there's no way she could be strong enough to kill mom and dad. I don't think. I think she's possessed. I think she's possessed. I hope she's okay. What should I do now? Tick tock, tick tock, crazy sound that never stops. Now that I think about it, the clock maker said that the time is layered reality. Maybe there's another version of me in this room, in another time. Or I'm just imagining things. But if it's true, how can I make contact with her? Dr. Dion said that everything is in my head. Hmm. Alright. Ooh, dah jauh ga, huh, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the third session of me playing Franbo. And I, if I'm not mistaken, this is one of the last chapters. So I'm really finishing, I'm really finishing Franbo today. Okay, so... I don't have a key. I can't open this at all. This is Palantras' box. Um, can I just combine this with... No, I can't. Mm. I wish, wish Miss Mr. Manet could come through. Is there anything on the right side? Let me see. Huh? And the wind took all the magical dust away! What are you doing in my bed? Are you sick? Hi, Jim! Hello! Your bed? This is my bed. And no, I'm not sick. You're chained up. <clears throat> You're chained up. Are you a dog? Wait, do I know you? I'm not a dog. And yes, I'm chained. Can you unlock it? Whoa, you're myself. You really are. You think so? Then this means I... This means I managed to enter the ultra reality. Did you meet Itford already? He's always talking about that. Yeah, I met him already. But I haven't seen him since the crash. You crash? That means you're broken. I'm not broken. Why would you say that? Think about it. The only way to cross into the ultra reality is to break the eyes. To break the ears. Break the physical limitations. That sounds extreme. Do you think I'm dead? No, no, not at all. They told me that to die is just a mental state. They? Uh, who are they? All the creatures that we can see. The black ones, the white ones. Wait, do, do you know why we can see these little things? Yeah, a man called Leon came to visit once and told me everything. And can you tell me then why we see the things that we do? What if I help you unlock the handcuffs first, and then we can talk? Well, that is kind of a good idea. I also need to find Mr. Midnight. I think he's in danger. And Grace blames him for the death of our parents. It's Mr. Midnight. That's our kitty, you know, our best friend. I don't have a cat. I guess that's the difference between us. Anyway, let me see if I can unlock your chain. It also happens that I'm a key collector. I'll be right back. Oh, I'm playing as her. Holy. Sweet, sweet melody. Sweet, sweet melody. Um, I like to play dress up. Okay. Um, I should, since I'm a key collector. Ah, there you are. Wait, I want to see if I can press everything else. Oh, wait. That means we've met with Palontras already before. Palontras and it were together. It's amazing. Okay. Well, I can get one of the keys, I guess. Okay. So maybe I can use one of the keys for the chains? Does it work? Oh, okay. Um, what about that one? Nope. 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 What about that one? Okay. Oh! Oh! We did it! It worked! Let's go! Good job! Oh my god, can you see the difference in this? I think it's because we became a patient, so we're like malnourished as hell. Malnourished as hell. Look at how skinny my arms are and how mini mini me's arms are. It's way thicker right now. Palantras told me that if we bet someday, I should give this to you. I think it'll help you open something. Like I said, this this is another us. And I don't know if it's from another time or another reality. But they already met Palantras and uh, Itward. The little golden box was having a hard time. All the screaming and the boogers were driving me mad. I pressed it by the ears, first twice to the left and once to the right. I rubbed its only eye two times to see if it has tears this time. 
I take him once by the left ear and scream. Stop whining, little golden box. Rest your eye again and open the door. Palontras, you know him too? Yeah, he also told me that if we met, you'd be ready for what's about to come up. No, wait, wait, ready for what? You, you gotta tell me. Oh no, I can't now. She's coming. Be quiet. Come on, Fran. Mm. Come on, Fran. You must see the doctor now. Wait, what? I'm so confused. Don't go, little Fran. We have stuff to talk about. That nurse is a bad, bad nurse. She was the one lying to the newspaper about me. I must find the monster. I'm sure he took Mr. Midnight. But nobody can take my kitty away from me. Nobody! Okay, maybe I can open it now. Hmm. Alright. So, I think I can... Where's the ears? Okay, okay. Let me try this. Let me try this. Okay. Let me read. Um... The little golden box is having a hard time, all the screaming driving me mad. I press it by the ears, twice to the left, once to the right. I rub its only eye two times. Uh, I take it once by the left ear and press the eye again. Okay, so... Can you remember for me, please? Please! I press the ear, twice on the left, once on the right. I press the eye once. And I press the ear one time and the eye again. Did it work? No. Okay, let me let me read that again. Um, I press it by the ears, twice to the left, once to the right. I rub the eye two times to, to see if it has tears this time. I take him once by the left ear and scream. Stop whining, you little golden box. Press your eye again and open the door. Hmm. Okay. okay, I'm gonna show this again, okay? Ready? Twice on the left, once on the right. I rub the eye two times. One, and then I rub the ear on the left. I scream, and then I rub it one more time. There you go! Let's go! I opened up! I am a master! Mabuka Mabuka. Wake up, Mother Mabuka. The ECOG clock. Do I need to make this? What is this? Designed by Cogwin. I have a door key now. Wait, a door key! Wait. Does it work? Does it work? Huh? What kind of door is that? Wait, what is that? I don't know where this is gonna lead. Oh my god, what is this? Oh, it's a blinking eye! That's an that's an eye eye. This looking at That one's locked. Uh, I don't want I don't think I wanna go with that one. That one's bloody. Okay, I have a key. Um the triangle shaped key. Oh well, okay, cool. Is this Itwer's house? This, looks, this genuinely looks like someplace Edward would stay. Actually. Oh, there's another key. I don't think that's appropriate, miss. I, I'm sorry. I, oh, I'm sorry. I, but I kind of need this key. There are many doors that I wish to unlock. And could you tell your friend to be nice and open his mouth? He won't. He never does. Besides, his teeth are enforced. It would be hard to get that key without his permission. Reinforced teeth? Hmm, I see. I'll see what I can do to get the key then. And who are you, if I may ask? Well, I'm Fran. Well, nice to meet you, Fran. Ah, I'm Roboto. <laughs> Welcome to Mabuka's den. Mabuka? Who is Mabuka? You don't know who Mabuka is. You don't? Leave now. Just leave. But wait, Roboto, sir. I've never been here before. Don't judge me for not knowing. Just... Could you tell me who Mabuka, Mabuka is instead so I know? Okay, okay. Mabuka is the mother of darkness. The darkest darkness of obscurity. The end of light. Mabuka is the mother of all creatures from the fifth reality. Wait, so... Am I in the fifth reality right now? I thought Remor was king here. Ah, 
Lamore, the terrible black, the son of darkness. Nobody likes him too much. You should go now, said no. Well, all right, I'll be back later anyways. I must get your friend's key. All right, so... Should I ring someone? 911, I need help. Please, please. I'm stuck in reality and I don't know where to go. Good luck, have fun. Um, it would forgot his hat, or maybe the forget hat forgot. That's not how it works. Oh, oh, oh! What the fuck? What are you? I'm not done, mother. I'll take another bath after this one because I stink. I think you don't stink. I think you just are bathing in blood, so you're not really getting any, you know. Cleaner. Who told you that you stink? The creeps that walk on my skin. They're getting sick. They vomit every time they eat from my skin. Because I stink. I don't smell anything. I stink like the most unpleasant stench. I believe you, but I can't smell it. Well, I have to go now. Can I have the soap? Does the sound of my heart disturb you? I could stop all of it. It could stop all of it. And that would be the end. I, I kind of just want the soap. Soap? Are you having trouble with your hygiene? Oh, oh yeah, terrible problems. Terrible problems. I stink like fish. I feel like I'm rotten inside. But that sounds delicious. I don't think that will be a problem. Maybe for you, but just let me have the soap just for a little while. All right then, take it. It's all yours. Why does that look, why does that not look like soap? But be careful with the hijackers. They love children that smell like soap. They eat their baby bodies and keep their heads. They're beautiful baby faces. That sounds terrible. I'll, I'll, I'll be careful. Thank you for the soap, I guess. See you later. That sounds horrendous. What can I use the soap for? Do you think since it's reinforced, I can use the soap on this? Chaka 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 chaka. Wait, there's something in the coat. Inside the little house. Inside the little house. That's not a little house. Can I get on the other side? I have soap, yet I don't know how to use it. Um hmm. Inside the little house. I feel like I, I could be missing something here. I got a balloon! Cool! Alright. Anything else I can take? Huh? Wait, what? They, there's no way they would have done this if there would it wasn't a good reason to. I see a lollipop. No. Oh. What's inside? Open use. Use case on. My school case. It's just a bag. Okay, well, I mean, sure. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the... Who's that? That's me, yeah, but, like, who's that? That's new. I've never seen her before. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Wait, the key's inside the little house. This little house. I see the key. I can feel the texture. There you go. I see it. Awesome. Hmm. I wonder if there's anything else here. No. 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 You think I can just use the chains? If I see Aunt Grace again, I can use the chains to smack her with it. Sounds like a good idea, honestly. It does sound like a good idea. Ooh! Oh! 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 What are you? Can you speak? Intruder! Infiltrator! Why would you enter without presenting yourself? I'm Hula, the eye from beyond. Behold my beauty! Thank you, baby. <laughs> Love you. 
Um, I'm sorry, what a big bye, blah, blah, big bye, big eye you are, you must see very well. I see everything and nothing less. Can you see my cat? Your cat? How is it possible that you want a cat? Are you a royal, a queen, a princess? We're friends. I don't own him, we have a relationship. Friends? How lovely. But yes, I did see a cat earlier today. He was crying from help from inside a cage. The bearer of the cage entered Mabuka's and the crowd. He's still down there, inside the cage. Can you describe the cat you see? Big ear eyes, pig nose, the fur is very dark. Black eyes of the deepest night. <laughs> it's him! That's my friend, Mr. Midnight! I have to go find him! But Mabuka is asleep. Waking her up can end in disgrace. I'm not afraid of her. Well, free free to take anything you need from my home. You are brave, and I respect bravery that much. Thank you, Akula. I'm fine, by the way. I'll see you around. What is with his pupils? Holy shit. His pupils like he's looking into your soul and then looking back out into your soul. I got a brush. I don't know what I can do with a brush, though. Wait, do you think I can cut the knife with the... Oh no, I can't. Never mind. Um, that's a snail. The golden snail. Knock knock. Who's there? Huh. I think there's anything else? No. Ooh. Wait. Yeah, it's on the other side. I'm on the other side. Hello. What? 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 Well, I'm not even going to play the whole thing. Insert button. I'm going to insert the button. What? I'm taking so much stuff and I have no idea when, where, or how I'm going to use any of these. What's that? Oh? Wait, what? I just turned on the lights and turned off the... What am I going to do with any of these? What am I going to do with any of these? I'm so confused. I can get the thing for the button. That's a big giant button. Maybe I can use a knife on it. Yep. I'm, I'm my progress is my progress is really really fast this time. This is awesome. I'm loving this. I am I am enjoying this. This is awesome. Time to insert the button. Bring. All right, now turn. Oh yeah, the wire. I'll probably put the wire later too. There you go. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, that's one hell of a gift. That's one hell of a gift to get at a fair. You know, usually people give candy. And maybe some butterscotch. Who knows, maybe even a toy. Pliers! Great! I'm in a burglar fest. They're teaching us how to uh, teaching us how to get into houses. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Um pliers. I'm so confused what I need to do. Wait. Do you think? No. It did say 103 though. Okay, what do I need to do? No. No. Can I just like. No. Hmm. Will do, baby. Alright. So let's see. This says 103 key. But it doesn't. It didn't give me a one zero two key. At least not entirely. Do you think I should put something else inside? No, I think I'm done everything. I think I've gotten everything I need. I don't see anywhere else that I should. Hmm. Um. Okay. Hmm. Oh wait, do you think if I turn this off, I can get one bulb? Yeah! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> my, my brain is my brain is on a high level of thinking! It is moving at five times speed! 
Okay, I might need... Oh, wait, pliers! It's reinforced! There you go! Oh! Oh! Ah! <laughs> oh, fuck! I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! How could you? I hope somebody takes your teeth out as well! Uh, I'm so sorry! I thought when they said reinforced, like maybe it's like clamped. So I just cut the metal on the teeth, not the teeth itself. Oh god. I'm so sorry. Oh! Mr. Midnight, is that you? Oh, it's a giant machine. Um, there's something there. I'm looking for something important. Huh. Can I open that? Ooh! Can I go through? Oh, I can! Oh, there's a glove! Excuse me, tree. I want the glove. Thank you. Hmm. Oh, that's weird. Huh. Oh, oh, it's wait, it's one of the it's one of the uh, light spirits again. Excuse me, I really need the ha the hanging key behind you. Excuse me, but I don't talk to strangers. Well, uh, okay, well, I don't need to talk, but could you just let me take the key? If I choose not to talk to strangers, not listening is also part of the deal. How are you? Well, that's uh, how disappointing. Well, I have a question. Are you stuck to this tree? I'm firmly attached to it. Why do you ask? I'm just curious. See you later. <sighs> okay. No. Okay, so... Well, he, since he is firmly attached to it, I don't think he would mind if I were to, you know... Ah, shit. Okay, fine. Um... Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, wait, a comb. Look, I found a magical hair comb. Isn't it great? I don't know. A hair comb? What's that? Well, would you like to try it? It's to make your hair very pretty and smooth. Would you like to try? I don't know. Is it dangerous? Uh, no, 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 absolutely not. It can be very pleasant if you do it smoothly. All right, let's try it. All right, just promise you won't burn me, okay? I'd only burn if I was in danger. Be gentle and nothing bad will happen. Hey, I'll be gentle. Oh, she does it so smoothly and nice. It worked. Oh, what's happening to me? I've never experienced anything like this before. Ah, uh, wait, but how? You're a Lucifer. All Luciferns I've met do this all the time. Really? Oh, well, thank you for very much. Ah, oh, it feels incredible. I, I can't believe I'm I'm voicing someone. <laughs> I feel like I need to fly away. Fly away! <laughs> that shit was funny. Can I get the key now? That must be the key for door 103. I can smell it. I can smell it. I just don't know how to get it though. No. It might be crazy, but no. No. Hmm. I can't get it. You think there's something that I can get from... Hmm. What a big cat. Look exactly at Mr. Midnight. The back of the giant cat. This must be something important. Uh... Ooh, wait. Do you think that I should put the ECOG clock inside? That's amazing. I think that's it. I think that's it. I think that's it. For real. Hmm. Um, what do you think if I wash this? No, no. Knife on the tree? No. I can't reach it though. I think I need to put the whole eco clock inside Mr. Midnight so it would work. I think that's well. This must be the key. My grab o -matic would work, but I don't have it anymore. Okay, I'll try to go find it somewhere else. 
Okay. So this wouldn't work. If this is another reality, I feel like my Grabomatic would also be in this reality. Don't you think so? No, 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 no. No. Ooh. Wait, I can't call. I don't know what to call. Um should I connect this to anything? Huh. Exam. Mm, no, no, I don't see it. There's gonna be a number here somewhere. I'm trying to see if there's a number here anywhere that I can go. What's this? Oh, yeah, the bottle of water. I need that. Cool. Yeah, a little bit of hygiene problems, really, actually. Yeah. Do you think that I can clean it up as well? Okay. I need to make a grab gravomatic of some kind. I still need to figure out how. 105, 102, 103. Do you think if I call 103, they're going to pick up? Hmm. Okay. Something's got to be here. I grab a medic of some kind, maybe. Ooh, I can see outside. Oh, God. Wait, is this my house? Oh, it is, it is. I remember, I remember. This is my house. Excuse me. Is somebody out down there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm somebody. Have you seen a black cat? No, I haven't seen a cat, but I do see a black thing eating from me. Are you alright? <laughs> yes. I think it's Kamala. Are you alright? No, not really. I don't feel very well. I feel sad. Well, I may be able to help you. I got rid of Kamala once all by myself. Really? That sounds promising. I'd love to be happy again. Oh, pause to check. Okay. Got it. Uh. Oh. Oh. Oh, that was wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. Um, hmm. That doesn't work. Wait, water balloons! Wait, 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 water balloons, water balloons! I can use the pipe to make water balloons. Does it work? I'm smart! Me smart! I'm amazing at this. <laughs> My high level thinking is going to be amazing right now. Why couldn't I get this kind of progress when I was playing before? My god, okay. Go! Shoo! Shoo! Almost, one more. Shoo! Goodbye, Kamala! Wow, I don't feel the sadness anymore, thank you! Don't worry about it, I'm happy you feel better. I do feel better. Let me give you something in return, okay? Ooh, wait! Ah, oh, there, a piece of me. You can plant it if you like. <laughs> thank you, sir. I have to go now. I must find my cat. Hope you find it! See you around! Oh, and yeah. Everything's coming together now. Yeah. I think I'm gonna use this. Oh, I think I'm gonna use this. Farming leggy point. Ah! <laughs> No oh, shit! Oh damn, okay. Alright, 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 you got it. I think I can poke it around with a branch now. Yeah, I got it. Everything's coming together. Everything's coming together. I'm doing so well right now. I'm doing super super well right now. I think since it's bloody, I don't want to mess around with it, so I'm gonna just gonna like wash it. I need, like Wash this shit? Nah, I mean, I can just key it. Yeah, it works. Oh, God. Oh. Whoa! No! Wait! Wait, do you think that if I go to 103, I'm gonna enter this giant Fran's head? Ah. 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 I think that's, I think that's Madoka. Madoka is Maboka, is it? Hold on, I'm trying to understand. Let me see. Mabuka, there you go. I think this is Mabuka sleeping. Little girl's in Mabuka's den. 
Little girl in Mabuka's den always die. This is Mabuka, she's sleeping. Yeah, I've seen worse. Hello, little boar. Hello, goat. You look a bit like a remor. Oh, creature from above. Creature from above. Get out of Mabuka's den, you're not welcome. Wake up, Mabuka! Excuse me, but I'm looking for my cat. I need to wake up, Mabuka. Just Mabuka? Mother Mabuka to you. Da redeem code baru. Da pull. Uh, no. Start up pull lagi. Uh, start up pull sangat. Uh, I think dah. I think, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, star has, star has. But the, I haven't redeemed the new code. I'll try that. I'll do that about like tonight. And how do you plan to wake her up with the crazy ideas of Cogwin? Cogwin is a nice clockmaker. He's not crazy. Ah, so you know him. I assume you've been to Thirsta. Horrid place, I say. Too dazzling. Well, that's exactly what I want to go after I find my kitty. Good for you, you fragile little mind. We'll be safe there with all those boring creatures. Chipa, chipa, taku expired. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta. Um, uh, I'll make sure before uh, do as well. Okay, the floor is beating like a heart. Hmm. Already got this. What else do I need for the Cogwin? I need a wake up clock and piano keys. Piano keys? I don't have piano keys. Can I open this? I don't know what's inside. Empty keys. Oh, I need the empty case. I see. I'll be using it. A working bulb, a wake up clock, bottle with water, soap bar, one glove, black wire piano keys. So I need to wake her up. And the only way I can wake her up is with the uh, clock that uh, Clogwin came up with. But I can't do that. You know what? You talk a lot. Fuck you. Oh shit. Okay, fine. Do I need the wire? I need a black wire. Yeah, okay, fine. I need to find piano keys. Do you think I can come come up with something here? Um. Hmm. Okay. Now I'm not sure where I can find piano keys. The one thing that I know is this. I don't know how to. I don't know how to do this. One zero five. Nope. It's gotta be something related. Kalau tak kan, I'm gonna go to my little dollhouse. Maybe there's a number there on the dollhouse. Oh, look at that! It's so cute. Oh, look at Mr. Midnight. It's adorable. Time for cuckoo clock. Hmm. Let me see, what else? Is this a magazine? Uh, Nutella Figure uh, Imaginex 29. Huh. What does it look like? There's something on the Image number 29. Um, I don't remember who this is. I don't. Hmm. No, no. No, no. Okay, there's nothing here. I already got everything I need from there. Okay, maybe I can check the dollhouse. Why does that look like there's another key? No? Huh? Oh! I'm gonna keep this as a piano. Oh! I didn't take it. Does that count as piano keys? It does! Wait, I think I need to get the wake up clock. That's awesome. What I need is... Hmm. Okay. Hmm. No. No. The door to the dollhouse. Is there a phone case nearby anywhere? I can take? No. It doesn't write anything that I need. Eh? What? I ripped the paper off. How? Why? Why? Was there a reason?
Is that the time dia habis? This night juga dia expired. Yep. Yep. Okay. 12 o'clock. 9 and 7, 12 o'clock. Your time. So, maksudnya... Um, kalau 12 o'clock malam ni lah kira. 9-7... Eh? 9-7-23... 12 o'clock. Maksudnya is... Tomorrow pukul 12 kan? Oh tak. 12 malam. 12 malam malam ni. Okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. Uh, that means kena laju sikit lah. Habiskan ni. 3-28. I have another hour and 30 minutes kan? I have one hour and 30 minutes to claim. Alright. Okay, let me just figure this out. Cepat, cepat. So, I need I need a phone number. I need a phone number. Phone number. Phone number. Can I get a wake-up clock too? This is a wake-up clock. Kan? Hmm. Hmm. It's a wake-up clock. Apa yang aku boleh call lah? Hmm. There's no numbers around. I'm trying to call. Okay, no, no, no number, no number, no number. No, no number there. No number on the dolly. KMG, little pine cone. I ripped the paper, but I don't know. I don't think that did anything. Nope. I can't find anything here. Let me go through the other places. Hmm, interesting though. You think I can like... There's something inside, no? Hmm. This is needed, 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 needed. Is there something in the book? Because why would I have this book if I wasn't really using it? Cry, 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 cry. I'm looking for a number. I'm looking for a phone number that I can call. So Valokas was at the Kamalas. Mm-hmm. It seemed like you have the key, it said. It didn't answer after a while, it faded away. March 13, 1879. I got a visit from my son Brian. He thinks I'm insane. Hmm. A huge creature visited my garden for a few seconds and then disappeared. On a strange bottle with pink look at inside. The same spot the creature landed. This bacteria may work as a platelet and white blood cell at a very high speed. Beings in ether star. No. Avaloka shield. No. Mabuka is the end of light. Mother Mabuka is letting me go. I spent 15 days here in Mabuka's den and I'm tired. I don't need to hide from pain anymore because it's part of me. I feel like love is everywhere and everything. I enjoy crying. I enjoy laughing. I enjoy being alive. No date recorded. I'm recording. Um, survive the journey. Gravity collects. Huh? There's no number. I don't know what to do. Hmm. I'm stuck at this part trying to figure out what number I need or where I can find it. Hmm. Number. Don't see it. Don't see it at all. Um. Do I give you something so that can I can I can I can I can I draw on you or like what is this? Fuck. Golden snail. Hmm. Okay. Um. Is there gonna be a reason for these mirrors? Other than the brush. I need a numbered key. Hmm. Let me see. A phone number anywhere? I can find a phone number that would be really good. Phone number, phone number. Who would I call? 
who would I call? It's okay, okay, okay. Why am I trying to wake her again? I'm not really sure. But as long as I can find uh as long as I can find the phone number, I think I can figure uh, figure it out. Hmm. No. No. What do I say? Ooh! It's tightly tied. There you go! Wait, I have everything I need! Wait, hold on. <laughs> sneeze! <laughs> Fuck! Sneeze! Oh! Okay, what if I mix everything? Um. Okay, so do I put it in here? Oh, yeah, 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 I got it, I got it, put it, everything inside. I don't think I need the number anymore. Wake up clock. Black wire. Piano keys. There you go, Mr. Midnight's gonna be, Mr. Midnight's gonna be the alarm clock. Oh, it works! Oh, huh? Oh, she's a, Mr. The Mr. Midnight Machine is a crafter. Okay, well that makes a lot of sense. All right, well, okay, okay. Rubbing my hands right now. Okay, whatever happens, I'm sorry, but I need you awake. You might curse me to abomination and put me in a dwell of literal darkness, and I don't know, tie me up by my uh, tie me tie me up by my uh, testes or something. But I need this. Because I need Mr. I need to save Mr. Midnight. And you're the only one who can do it. I'm so sorry. But wake up! Oh god! No! Beware of Mabuka! The awakened darkness rises from the unknown! Oh! I'm sorry to wake you, Mother Mabuka! I need a favor. Can somebody tell me who this creature is? Quite insolent for such a tiny body. I can answer that myself. I'm Fran Bo, human girl, 11 years old, and I'm very brave just so you know. Human in Mabuka's den? That's amusing. Who brought you here? That would be Ramor. I think he's your son, isn't he? Did my son manage to enter your head already? You mean like cutting my head open? I don't think so. Did you drink or eat some reddish potions or beans? Beans? My pills look like red beans, so yes, I took a whole bottle. Then I cannot use violence against you. The power has been unleashed. I hope you find beneath the ground the beneath the ground the truth you seek. Um, thank you, but what power has been unleashed? Could you tell me? The power inside you. Don't you know? You were selected by the five realms of essential existence to be the keeper of the key. The five realms of essential existence were created parallel with time. What are you talking about? The Keeper of Key? Who told you that? The great Valokas from Prime Eve told us everything a long time ago. The Keeper will be hunted down by the Son of Darkness after eating and feeding from the Red Seed. But you're too young, I must say. Too young indeed to be the Keeper of the Key. And there's something about you. Did something obscure happen to you? I think Ramor killed my parents, Mother Mabuka. Can you imagine how that feels? I'm all of those feelings, Frambo. I'm everything sinister in all the darkness that you can imagine. I feed from tears and sorrow, from desperation and fear. Then you don't care if Ramor killed my parents. I thought you were nice. I'm curious to know the reason, if that makes you feel better. Now I understand it's the reason itself, the truth you're seeking. Go on, Keeper of the Key. Be brave now. I'll open my heart for you. Is she good or bad? I don't know which whichever it is. Well, I mean, well, she's helping me out. That's the least I could do. Oh, what the wait, what? Ew! Oh, 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 oh wait, are those are the ones that steal those babies' faces? Ew! Do I know you from Sarah? Where's my knitting needle? Oh, okay, okay, all right. Um, I'll, I'll guess I'll take a number. 
I think she's good. What a nice shirt does she have? Yeah, um, a... Sure. A shirt full of lovely baby faces. Why not? Ugh. Good golly. Uh, something on the left side. Hi, Schwan! Oh, God. Ugh. I wonder how long I have to wait now. Hours, maybe days? Babe, I've been waiting here for a week now. How long has everyone been waiting? I've been waiting here for like a month. But I have number two, so it must be my turn very soon. I've been waiting here for three and a half weeks. I'm only hopeless. Excuse me, anyone, but is there a way to make things go faster? Yeah. Become a doctor yourself. That would be faster. And by doing that, you could also help us all. Why don't you become a doctor yourself then? I can't because I feel very sick. I can't. My RI has been blinded. I have this broken horn. You see, I can't be a doctor. I have to be a patient. Kill them all so you can be faster. I think that's how it should work. I think it's best if I do help them. I I can't. I don't even know what illness I have. That's why I'm here. Do you feel pain? It's a very hard question. Make it softer. How can I make a question softer? That's very strange. Hey, have you tried pulling your eyes off? It helps sometimes. Impossible to talk with you. Of course you can make some. You're not the one who sees it all. You've only known us for a few minutes, and that's a very little time to understand it all. Well, that's true. It would be nice to use some common sense. It helps to understand. We understand each other very, very well with our uncommon sense anyway. Yes, we actually do. We respect the differences. Who sees it all then? You mean Mabuka? No! Mabuka knows everything. It's not the same as seeing everything. Now, I want to wait because talking won't make the waiting go faster. Oh, wait, wait. I know someone who can see everything. I know someone who can see everything. This guy might help me out. I hope you find your cat. Oh, come on. Really? What if I give you this? No? Hmm. I need to get something now. Interesting. Well, I mean... Hmm. She needs knitting needles, but I think she already has one. Nope. Okay. This must be the number display. I don't think I can do anything else here, but I can try to help them one by one. Okay, do you see the screen? I have number three, it's almost my third. Um, okay. Can I stab him? Okay, no, I can't. I mean, I tried, I'm sorry. Oof. Okay. So it must be someone with... No. I'm genuinely so confused right now. Of what I need to do. I've made it this far, so at least I should do something. <clears throat> um... Hmm. Okay, I feel like I need to talk to Akula. No. I can fix everything. I just need to figure out how. Grinding with teeth, drinking a taste full of fear. Hmm. No, no, no. I can't get- Wait! Hmm. No, I genuinely thought I could do something about that eye. Oh, it's tough. He's all sighing. Okula is all seeing. Maybe he can help in some way. Okay, no, it's not really helping me out. No, can I stab Okula? I'm so sorry. I genuinely don't mean to. Okay, so I'm stuck again. With nothing to bear in mind with. All seeing eye. Hmm. Interesting.
Uh, I already woke Mabuka up. I don't know if I was supposed to go up again and try to find anything else. Is there a corn? Is there is there something else that I can do? Wait. Oh, they listen. They see me so much. Okay. Shit. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on a standstill. I don't know what what I can do. No. Something I can do. Can I just stab each and every one of them? Okay, let me try this again. Oh, um, would you like to exchange our tickets? I have number seven. No, I need to know if I'm in pain. I need to know what illnesses I have. What if I found out what illness you have? Would you give me a ticket then? <laughs> sure, if I'm still here when you come back. Okay, 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 okay. So I've made the deal. <clears throat> now I can talk to the guy who was... Now I can talk to the guy who was all seeing. Akula. Akula, can you help me out, please? <laughs> of course you do. What can I do for you? There's a patient who doesn't know what illnesses he has. <laughs> he's in the re he's in the waiting room, waiting. Hmm, let me see. Yeah, I see him. From what I see, it's not really an illness. He's just a headache caused by low levels of agony. Is it possible to help him somehow? I need his ticket. Crying all the tears you can cry until you can fill this bottle. We'll do it. Huh? But don't forget, the mud, the tears must be caused by real sorrow. That won't be a problem. I'm at a very problematic point in my life. I thought everything was going to be better when I kitty got home. But now everything is so confusing and Grace is totally crazy. Talking to her was horrible. I really trusted her. I don't know what to do now. Abuka said I was selected for something, but she fell asleep again and won't answer my questions. I need my kitty. Mr. Midnight's hugs are the biggest comfort in life. Oh my dear, give me a second. <clears throat> I'll be back in a bit. Sorry, I was coughing. And I can't mute uh, nicely, so I have to do that. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Woo! Thank you, Akula! I'll be coming back when I can. Here you are. This will help you out. Here, drink this. You'll feel much better. Oh, trying to poison me. L lovely. Let's see. Oh! It tastes like the most profound and darkest elixir I've ever tasted. Give me more! Give me more! No, leave me alone. You promised to give a ticket if I helped you. Alright, alright, there you go. And thank you. Your tears taste absolutely delicious. Oh cool! Oh cool! My turn now. There you are. Hello, patient number two. We're gonna do all we can to save you. You have an appointment? Well, not really. You told me to take a number and wait. I'm sorry. We don't help sick people without an appointment. I'm not sick. I lost my kitty and I just want to find him. Lost kitty? Don't worry. That's a natural reaction to your sickness. You're lucky though. Many lose their minds instead. Lucky. How do I get an appointment then? Well, just call me. Here's my card with a telephone number. Oh, for God's sake. Why must I call you? Why can't you just make an appointment now? Well, that would be silly, darling, because now I'm waiting for you to call me. All right, all right, I'll make your call. She did! She did! No, you know what happened? Uh, uh, she, uh, Mr. Midnight was helping us. Mr. Midnight was helping us with uh, going into the house. The moment Mr. Midnight got in, the doctor came in and took us away to help him out. And then we lost Mr. Midnight. Now we're trying to find Mr. Midnight again. Because apparently... Apparently, Aunt Grace, our aunt, stole Mr. Midnight and then trapped him somewhere. So we're like, we're trying to figure that out. It's such a mess. It's such a mess. Okay. 
All right, cool. I know we lost Mr. Midnight because the damn doctor came. He's a nice doctor, he is, but that that was really dumb. Hello, patient Manzu. You have an appointment? Yes. Rambo is my name and appointments now. Let me check the archives. Yes, there you are. The doctor will see you in a minute. Just go through the door to your right. Thank you. Who's a doctor? Oh! oh! Um, sorry. Did I did I scare you? You look quite pallid. Whew! Yes, yes, what a nightmare. You look like a healthy human. Oh, thank you, I guess. Now, if you don't mind, I have an appointment. I don't mind, actually, because it's none of my business. Oh, God. I don't know what the cat has, but the fact that the cat was taken away, they're accusing Mr. Midnight, they're accusing the cat of killing my parents now. It's just so dumb. So, so dumb. Bro, hey! You haven't chosen to end your life yet. Isn't the pain you feel enough? You're the more, aren't you? I haven't had the chance to introduce myself properly. Sadly, I cannot be seen in the third reality for long periods of time. I am Ramor, the terrible black prince of darkness. I know who you are. Don't try to act like nothing happened. Did you kill my parents? Where is my cat? And what did you do to Dr. Deeran? I intensely enjoy seeing your suffering dripping from your eyes. I feed from it. You are the manifestation of my desires. I can use you for whatever I want. You are under my that's not true! Not anymore! I won't let you trick me any anymore! Tell me, why did you kill my parents? Why? You're assuming that I was the one who did such a terrible thing. I saw you that night outside my window. It must be you who did it. You trust your eyes too much. Haven't you learned that human receptors are weak? Your body is fragile. Easy to corrupt. You did not just take me away! Wait... Huh? No, 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 it can't be! I didn't do it, I didn't, it wasn't me, stop it! It was not me, it couldn't be me! The slices were too clean! Who was it, darling? Who killed your parents? The dog. The little creator must suffer and die before becoming a star. This is fake. This is entirely fake. There's no way. There's no way. She look at her arms. There's she's not strong enough to do a cut that clean. I didn't kill my parents. I did. 71%? Oh, 70,757 was raised. My God, just a little bit more. 90% on the next day. You're going to raise 20% on the next day. You do know that means that with 20, 10 people is going to have to contribute 1, 10, 2,000 by tomorrow. Sheesh, God damn. Okay. Wait, it's locked the dude. Mr. Midnight. Sir, wake up, please. Sir! Oh. Uh, oh, Mr. Midnight. Answer me, what's wrong with you? Oh. It's this place, isn't it? You must get out here so you can talk to me again. We have 16 days left. We can do this. I don't have much point, sadly. I'll take you to a third step, my darling. Patronus can help you. Nothing will tear us apart again. <clears throat> You think this needle's gonna do it? Uh, well, bon appetit. Oh, oh, God! Ah, damn, what was that? Don't worry, Dr. Deer, it's me, Fran. What? I can't see very well. Franbo, sir, from the Oswald Asylum. We were at the cemetery, remember? Fran, what happened? Why am I tied to a chair? What have you done? Oh, sir, I'm trying to help you, sir. The big monster brought you here. We must go. Come on, Fran. Monsters. I don't feel like playing games. Alright, it wasn't a monster at all. Just let me help you. Oh my god. Huh? Wait, who is he? 
Wait! Wait, he's the guy from the journal! How look? You sound just like your mother when she was young. You know her? Who are you? I'm Dr. Oswald Harrison. I know everything about you, friend. Oh my god, it's Albert Einstein. Oh, for god's sake. After the maid art, uh, after the maid outfit, do the femboy outfit. Uh, yeah, there has to be some limits to this. There has to be some limits to this. All right. Many years ago, I was studying the magnificent complexity of twin siblings. Lucia and Grace were part of my study. Both helped me find the key to success. Yes, of course. Ramor did a great job. His powers of manipulation is extraordinary. <clears throat> what I can't understand is how you can be so calm about it. It was you holding the knife after all. I'm not calm, sir. I knew it was Ramor all the time. But why is he hunting me? Ramor is the manifestation of your weakness. A blind and powerful manifestation of your fears. But why would the monster kill my parents? Because your parents were interfering with my work. But I actually did you a favor. You are suffering. And pain is connected to growth and strength. The Fanboy outfit is going to make Azelis get 3,000 followers in a day. First of all, I highly doubt that. Um, and secondly, a Fanboy outfit for me only? Okay, first of all, you can, if if I were to wear a fanboy outfit, if I were to, if Azelis were to wear, I were Azelis, were to wear a fanboy outfit for you, you'd still be getting the dominance. Uh, you'd still be getting the harsh and very strict, uh, very, well, you know, <clears throat> dom side of me. So like, it, it just wouldn't, <laughs> it, it wouldn't fit. Yes, you're right, Fran. I'm sorry for being so hard on you. Come on, let's go now. No. No. No, what are you doing? You let go of Mr. Midnight right now! What is she doing? No! No! Fran, my dear, listen to me. You must know, Dr. Oswald only wants the best for you. When Lucia was pregnant with you, he knew you'd be a very special girl. He told us to take good care of you, but your mother betrayed us. She wanted to hide you from us. She thought we wanted to kill you, but that's not true. Dr. Oswald really wants to give you the best. For that, you must allow him to try a little experiment on you. And then everything will be fine? Of course. But there's still one thing we must take care of. Oh, you better not. This little traitor must go. No, you better not. No, no. Come on, Fran, stop weeping. The cat is dead now. He was my friend. You killed my best friend. You also helped kill my parents, didn't you? Didn't you? How can you live with yourself? I hate you. Oh, I hate you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, no, are we actually, are we actually doing it? Oh my god. Don't you dare touch Grace, you little monster. Hello? Oh my goodness, she's totally insane. I'll do the experiment while she's still warm. I need to extract the brain right away. Fuck you, Grace! She tried to kill me. You were right about Fran, Dr. Dan. She was sick. She's bleeding, let me take care of her. No, you won't, she's mine. I've been waiting for this moment for many years, looking for the right child, the right brain. Now that I have her, nothing can stop me. Huh? What was that sound? Oh, it worked. Oh, friend, everything will be all right. Oh, friend, everything will be all right. Who are you? I'm Itward, the one many children talk about. But, but you're not human! Ectobro, Ectoprote, Polantris Monarchaste. Gorska! 
It's where I found him. Oh my goodness, stay away from the girl, leave her alone. Oh my god, he's safe. Little Fran must be cured. Do you think you can use the same body? Yes, she's not completely gone yet. Here I go. Oh, Mother Mabuka, you took the child's innocent. Fran is now dead and alive. Wake up in darkness, Fran, and you will be able to walk towards the light. Huh? <clears throat> what is going on? They're trying to save... Itward and Palantras are both trying to save me. Oh! Am I saved? Did they do it? <gasps> I'm alive! Itward and Palantras! My heart hurts. Oh! Mr. Midnight Hall, you're alive! I miss you so much. Please tell me something. Bran, we must go now! Go? Yes, alright! Dr. Dyrne, look! This is Itward and Palantras! I told you about them, remember? I told you they were real! Do you believe me now? <gasps> he can't hear you. I think he's under the power of Mabuka now. We really must leave. But can he come with us, please? He's been really nice to me. He really wanted to protect me and help me. We can't bring him with us, I'm sorry. What we can do is make him believe that all of this was a dream. He'll wake up and think none of this really happened. But he won't remember you, friend. That's okay, I guess. As long as he's safe. It's very kind. You're finally seeing beyond your own desires. You're becoming one with everything. Your parents will be very proud of you. You really think so? <laughs> Thank you, Palantras. Alright, I think it's a good time we go. Let's send Dr. Dean home. Marcel Dean Oanum. Vekma Sadunsle Ecto. Well, at least he's safe. Let's go now, Fran. As much as you must see and learn. That sounds like fun. Okay. That's crazy. What really happened? I still don't know many things. But one thing I do know. That between guilt and fear, I choose happiness. Oh, that's so cute! Oh. It word and his machine and me just riding Palontras with Mr. Midnight. That's such a cute, that's a, such a cute cinematic. Oh my god. We actually did it! Holy, look at that! That's awesome. We did it! Let's go! Oh wow, this is a job between a brother and sister. Or is it a husband and wife, by the way? That looks so nice. Let's go! We did it! Woo! Thank you so much, baby! Thank you, Shwan! Good game, that was an awesome, awesome story. I didn't really explain much, but I mean, it did fit well, I think. That was awesome. I really, really had fun. I wonder if there's anything else. I'm gonna press escape. Oh, oh, I can't skip it. Oh, is there anything else? Oh, that was it. That was it. Mm, mm -mm. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> Okay, all right, we got that settled, Shawan, of course. Was it good? I enjoyed it. Yes, I enjoyed it very, very much. So, mm hmm. <laughs> it was an awesome, awesome, it was an awesome, awesome story. I really enjoyed it. I hope this game has a sequel. Something to at least explain it. But other than that, I really, really had fun. It was a really thrill and I enjoyed it. So I hope you guys did too. All in all, it was an awesome game. And I really hope you guys, uh, I really want to thank you guys for being along this entire trilogy. And you can kill Grace for killing that cat. I think Grace is already like messed up. 
present of the Oswald is just like, ugh. But other than that, that's Fran Bo! That is Fran Bo! I had a ton of fun. Alright, whatever it is, I hope you guys uh, liked what you see. I'll make sure to uh, get some quick updates on the video. But I'll not thank you so much. I hope you guys loved it. I wish you more or less you guys have a lovely, lovely night. That was an awesome. I'll be ending the stream. Thank you so, so much. It was great. Thank you, Shuan. Thank you, Saya. That will be all for me. I'll be ending the stream. I wish. I hope to see you guys on, on the next stream. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys again later. Thank you, Shuan. Bye-bye. See you guys.